Well, we're here at uh, at Ascot with uh, AP McCoy, Tony McCoy, uh, champion jockey for well, I, I don't know, 13, 14, 15 years consecutively, and he's well on course to do it again. Uh, front runner, along possibly with fellow Irishman Graham McDowell for BBC Sports Personality of the Year, and of course Grand National winner this year. So I mean, I don't know where to start with you, Tony. You, you've won more races than anybody else in history. You want, I think everything, now with the Grand National, is that everything? Yeah, that's pretty much, um, there's still obviously races that I haven't won that, that, that I'd like to, but the, the Grand National obviously being the main one, and, and having had 14 previous failures at it uh, until this year, it, it had been a pretty disappointing race, but I, I suppose it was all the sweeter when it did come uh, this time around, you know, the, the Grand National is, is probably from a public perspective, the, the, the greatest horse race in the world, and uh, every jockey, every jump jockey wants to, to win the Grand National. So um, I was very lucky that I finally achieved that. Well, considering what you've achieved in the sport, if you hadn't won the Grand National, would you? Could you've dealt with that? Would that have been okay? You gave it your best shot, or was it a real bugbear for you? Well, well, to be honest, obviously it only comes around once a year, uh, so you only get one chance at it every year. It, it's it's a, a race that. No matter how good a jockey you might be or how many races you might have won, you you need a lot of luck um, for for that to happen. And, and I felt that obviously this time around I had all the luck. Um, I don't feel that that I'm any better a jockey now that I've won the Grand National than I was beforehand. Uh, but I, I feel luckier. And uh, as I said, there's uh, it's, it's every jump jockey's dream to try and win the Grand National, and it just makes you you appreciate it more. And when you have done, how much luck you really need. Now, I, I read somewhere you've raced 13,000 times plus, obviously one more just now, uh, and that works out at 31,000 miles plus, which is one and a half times round the world. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that, but it's, uh, it's a long way to go on horseback <laughs> if, you, if you think about it like that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of rides and probably they've not all been good, unfortunately, but... Um, I, I'm, I'm lucky that if, if I have had 13,000 odd rides to have had three th over 3,000 winners out of them is, 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 is something I'm, I'm, I'm fairly proud of. Um, but there's been a few falls and a few spills along the way. Well, some sp so, uh, sports people know everything about themselves. Others haven't got a clue. Where, where do you start? I mean, do you know exactly how many winners you're on now? Uh, not exactly, no. I, I, it's, it's in around 3,000. 200 I would think you know maybe maybe it's about 3,300 if I include my winners in Ireland and that as well you know so right does that count in the sort of the official um, stats uh, kind of I suppose but I suppose you know we're talking about winners winners in this country and it's it's about 3,200 in, in this country now the previous record if I'm right was uh, Richard Dunwoody yeah Richard rode 1,699 so um, and you're on 3-3 three, three. My, my, my goal is to to, to, to double his talent <laughs> which would, would which would be nice so I can give him plenty of ribbing when I next see him. When you speak to goal scorers in football, I mean you're a big football fan, big Arsenal fan, you know, a goal scorer that it can't replace the feel of scoring a goal. Um, a rugby player can't re replace that feeling of going over the try line. After 3,000 plus winners, do you still get that when you cross the finish line? Yeah, that, that's what it's all about. It's all about getting the buzz from winning. But getting the buzz from riding actually is, is something that um, I dread having to ever to try and replace and obviously there's a lot more of my career behind me than there is in front of me and I know that sooner rather than later that, that I am going to have to try and replace that and I'm a realist, I realise that it's it's not going to be possible and I just hope that I can cope with it when it does happen. Where do you think you get this this uh, insatiable thirst for, for winning, uh, Tony? Because everybody out there racing today here at Ascot, they all want to win races. They want to win as many races as they can. But you're just going on and on and on. You just don't seem satisfied. Uh, I think you get... You, 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 it's something that grows in you and, and something that the more you win, the more you want. And You know, it's not something that you can start off and say, I want to win more races than everyone else and I'm going to do this better more than everyone else. But... I think the more you, you, you're lucky enough to achieve, then the more you, what you want it and the more, uh, the more chances you get of achieving it as well. So, um, uh, as I said, I don't, think I, I don't think I want to win any more than any of the other lads. I, you know, I, I do want to win, but I, I think I'm lucky that I get a, 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 a fair crack at it and a good opportunity to do so. If I bumped into you when you were 17, 18 years old and said, this is what you're going to do, 
in the next 18 years? Your, your view? Yeah, you know, it's not something you could ever think that anyone would ever, would ever be realistic enough to, to, to agree with you or to, to think that that wasn't a mad or a crazy idea. You know, it's um, something that I, I feel very proud of. You know, I'm, 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 I'm a pretty level, level-headed person and um, as a jump jockey, you, you never get above your station because you only, as we said earlier, you only have to look at the injuries that can happen and what happens to, to your colleagues and to you as well. So. Now, uh, we reckon that it's between you and Graham McDowell for BBC Sports Personality of the Year. There are other runners and riders, for sure, uh, but possibly you two uh, are the favourites. It's only taken you 15 years, Tony, um, and here we are. W w how do you feel about that? Yeah, it's something I feel very flattered about because it's... Um, you know, uh, I, uh, people. There'll be a lot of people who watch the, the sports personality year will have no idea who I am or what I do. Um, obviously, people who follow racing and some people who follow sport will have probably heard of my name before. But um, I, I, I would imagine that 50% of the audience might not have heard of me, and I'm sure 75% of them might not know what I look like. So um, it's quite flattering. And, and as a and as a jockey as well, you know, I feel that. That with with Lester Pickett and Frankie Dutori, who are m much bigger personalities and have achieved more than I ever achieved in racing, they 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 never won the sports personality year. So I, I don't, you know, I, I, it's not something that I, you know, that I, I realistically thinking is going to happen. Obviously, with Graham having won a major and and, and, and winning the the Ryder Cup, and, and Lee West would know we're number one. You know, I think anyone that dethrones Tiger Woods is. You know, there's an achievement in itself, you know. Okay, uh, question for you. You've got a choice of one Grand National, BBC Sports Personality of the Year, or Arsenal winning the Champions League. You know, at, at, on a personal level, it's the Grand National every time because um, it's, it's, it's what you really want to achieve yourself. And much to all as I'd like Arsenal to win the Champions to win the Premier League and, and win the sports personality of the, the Grand National. I, I, I grew up wanting to be a jockey and, and win the Grand National is everything. Well, we'll finish up. We mentioned Arsenal. You are, I, I caught up with you the other day and uh, we started talking Arsenal and that was it. You were gone. Um, you're a big Arsenal fan, aren't you? And, um, well, it's a kind of a weird season, isn't it? But, but they're still up there despite everything. Yeah, we've still got a chance. Um, I, I would love if, if, if Thomas Vermeilen got came back sound and and obviously Van Persie is as good a striker as in the Premier League, but he's like a good racehorse, they always seem to get injured. And, um, if we got those two back, we're, we're not a million miles away. Our, our last couple of performances have been pretty good. There's a lot of banter in the uh, Wayne room uh, over Arsenal, yeah, Arsenal we, and other teams. You know, Ruby's a Man United fan and we have a few Liverpool fans, but we're, we've got a few Arsenal fans. I think we're, we're, you know, we're probably, I think we'd be probably top of the supporters league in the Wayne room. I think Arsenal probably have the most fans. Excellent. Well, Tony. The very best of luck for the Sports Personality of the Year and, and many congratulations for everything you've achieved. Life goes on, doesn't it? You're racing here, you've got more races today and all the way through pretty much to Christmas, isn't it? Yeah, we're, we're off the 23rd the next day with no jump racing, so um, I'll be well, I won't get any falls or injuries and I'll be racing until then.